Hey, what's going on everybody? I hope each and every one of you are having an absolutely amazing day so far. It is a beautiful uh, June day. We're actually getting close to the uh, end of June here. We're about to start uh, July season. We're about to, or we're in the beginning of uh, cancer season. So happy birthday to all the cancers that are out there. I know that there are very important uh, few cancers in my life. And again, of course, I am talking about the astrological, astrological, excuse me, astrological season of cancer. So let's not, uh, let's not open this up to anything else, uh, mind you. But uh, coming back to cancer season, just a happy birthday to a few cancers in my life. I know July 17th, uh, to name a particular day is going to be very important as it, that is my uh, mother's birthday. So absolutely excited about that. So for today's topic, what I want to go ahead and talk to you guys about today is the importance of developing what I like to call success habits. Now, habits are very important. When we think about the life that we desire to live, the people that we are destined to become, a lot of the things that are part of of becoming this particular person involves the things that we do on a daily basis. Now, it's not just the things that we do on a daily basis necessarily. It is also a matter of the things that we are, what I like to call, put on autopilot. Now, for example, we take showers, we brush our teeth. You know, it's important for hygiene. Do we necessarily have to think about that? Well, I would imagine not necessarily because at the end of the day, what we do is it is so ingrained into our mind, it is so ingrained into what I like to call our subconscious mind, which is basically the mind that doesn't have to think about anything. It's just, it's just there. It's just an inner sense of knowing in a matter of speaking, for lack of a better word. So going back to this showering, brushing your teeth example, we know that we need to do it. It's not something we got to think about. It's not something that, man, you just got to consciously remember to do. It's a matter of just getting it done and doing that on a day-to-day -day basis. And it's almost like uh, clockwork. And also some of the things that we do, such as getting on the camera. Now, this is where some of these conscious things turn into subconscious things. So... When I come on the camera, especially when I first started doing it uh, in my podcasting journey, and even then, that wasn't really necessarily me talking to a camera just like this. It was a matter of just even getting onto a microphone and just talking about well, when I did the Keeping It 100 podcast, just speaking. Now, at first, it was something I had to actually think about. You know, what am I doing? How do I go through the process of podcasting? And it was... At one point in time, a little uncomfortable because it was something I had to consciously think about because I had no experience, because I didn't bring up the habit of going on to a microphone and then transitioning into camera. That wasn't something I was accustomed to at the time. I had to think about actually doing it. It was something I had to consciously put in the effort into doing. And then after getting that experience of being on the camera and talking about it, now it's just a matter of, you know, putting the camera on, saying whatever comes inside of, saying what is inside of me, having that come out and sharing it to you guys, and we go from there. And so that's how we go ahead and we develop these habits. It's, you know, going back to, as I had said before, when we were ch children, kids, we did have to consciously think about showering and brushing our teeth and you know, we're very grateful that we had parents that allowed us to go ahead and say hey you make sure you do this and that and the other things so that we had to consciously think about it and because of that routine that habit and the blessing of having amazing parents for the better part of our lives it allowed us to build up those things that we had to think about consciously and now make it a habit. You know, that goes back to the showering and brushing the teeth example. So now let's talk about some of these success habits that we want to start doing in order to
be the people that we desire and that we're destined to become. So I want you to imagine it like this. You can do this right now. You can pause the video and think about this right now or even think about some of these things. And uh, forgive me, I, I do hear an ice cream truck right there. That's the beautiful part about living in a New York suburb or even, even in really any suburb. And for those suburb kids, this may resonate, but you always had that ice cream truck, especially during the summertime, just coming about and you're just like, hmm, there's that, uh, there's that inner child in me wanting that sweet tooth, but we're going we're gonna to ignore that for right now. And uh, we're going to go ahead and just keep talking about this. So imagine, right? You're that person that accomplished the big dream, right? So again, personal example, you know, a lot of people know that I want to, that I desire to be, and that I am a 10, 11, 12 counting figure earner, that I am a universe changing emperor, that I am a universal network that I am a natural leader, warrior, explorer, healer, creator, and entrepreneur. And there's a lot of other things. And again, we're going to talk about one of those habits that allows me to be able to be so subconsciously thinking or just knowing some of these things that I'm talking about right here, right? Having infinite abundance and generating unlimited wealth. Now, how do I just come up with those things without having the time to, or taking the time, I should say, to consciously think about that? Well, it all comes back down to habits. So imagine, right, that I've already accomplished all those things. What am I doing? What am I still doing right now, even after accomplishing those things? Well, one thing that you can turn into a habit is journaling. And we're going to go into more depth about this at a later time, a later topic. But one of the things I love doing in journaling, speci journaling specifically is writing down specifically what I desire, what I want. And putting it into a phrase where I'm saying to myself, I am so grateful now. Now, why am I saying it like that? Because I know the universe has already gone ahead and has taken care of this for me. I do not have to worry about the how, right? I just got to worry about the what and the why. And I know what I want and I know why I want it. I don't have to worry about the how. The universe can go ahead and take care of all that for me. The higher power in play and know what that looks like I don't know and see when I don't have to worry about the parts that are unknown when I don't have a fear of the unknown it allows me to go ahead and just embrace life and take all of life's mysterious moments and embrace them in some aspect in some particular way so journaling is a very important habit for me that I've developed since July of 2021 that is when I really and this is a big credit to I remember the YouTube video I listened to specifically from Jake Ducey, who talked about journaling, who talked about scripting. And that's what we're do what I'm doing with journaling is that I'm scripting down my life. So the 10, 11, 12 canning figure earner, the universal network, the universe changing emperor, the natural leader, explorer, warrior, entrepreneur, healer, creator, the guy who's generating infinite abundance, the visionary, the student and the master, all this stuff that I'm talking about right here and right now is something that I've journaled going back to consistently. And I've teetered a bit here and there. Again, we're all human beings. We're not perfect. We're not supposed to be 100% at all this. We have to grow and learn along the way. But I have had to journal this down consistently so that instead of just thinking about all these things, instead of it just being in my mind consciously, it's now just something that I'm it's like as if my body is born into it that it knows internally that this is what i'm going to do that this is what i am and that is a matter of things unfolding to where it ultimately instead of it just feeling as a external knowing i'm sorry an internal knowing it becomes a external knowing so journaling very important habit some other habits that i am taking into account I am definitely one who likes to learn, so I learn something new every day, which whatever it is pertaining to my fields or pertaining to some of my interests, like my spiritual interest or even podcasting, even just socializing, improving my communication skills, something. I go ahead and I do something in order to improve myself in a way where I know that this is a habit that I will continue to do even as I get the things that I desire. So I hope that helps everybody. Before we go, three very important words. Be great, be favored, and be the person that you desire and that you're destined to become. Thank you.